Greetings Metal Community, it's uh, Roger back with another uh, collection update. Death Metal and uh, some blackened death metal as you can hear in the background. It's uh, Serpents, Serpent of Old uh, with in Ensemble Under the Dark Sun. This is a, a band from Turkey. Uh, they do play in a uh, kind of technical death metal or technical thrash death metal band as well it's pretty good I can't remember the um, name of that band uh, right now but this is kind of um, as I said blackened death metal it has um, you could say there are some Belfagor moments here and there and uh, but it will also kind of put a little bit like Mr. Ming well, not Mr. Ming but Swati Daudi from Iceland as well very good stuff uh, growly vocals as you can hear and um, yeah, a lot of fast blasting, but there's a lot of pure black metal riffs here as well. So it's kind of in a borderline of a black and death metal album, but I really like this. It's out on Transcending um, Obscurity. <clears throat> That's the reason why I bought it on CD and not vinyl, because uh, the vinyl editions uh, there are turning into crap. Uh, not, uh, you know, sound-wise, it's just the splatter and shit is not for me. Um, sticker and... Uh, you know, a card that say how many copies there were made and your number. Yeah, I will uh, link it up below so you can go and check it out. But uh, great, great stuff from uh, Turkey and not as I don't have a lot of music from Turkey in my collection, so it's uh, cool. Then I also picked up the new Saturnus, um, Danish uh, death doom legends, uh, returning after yeah, I don't know how many years but uh, probably 15 years since the last album or something like that uh, can't remember it's been so long pretty good sounding it sounds like Saturnus uh, the normal booklet you know it's not fancy or anything I could have gone with a vinyl but um, I don't I don't like double vinyl especially on the death doom stuff I kind of like them listen to them on CD um, yeah, it sounds like Saturnus uh, change up in the kind of the crew, of course. Uh, same vocalist as before. Uh, he's getting older, so he's kind of he hasn't that juicy voice that he has, but he has a pretty damn good vocal still. Uh, you know, but uh, sometimes he kind of struggles a little bit. It sounds like to drag them out. He's dragging out the words and it kind of yeah. You will hear it what I mean when you listen to it uh, but you know great um, leads here and melody lines as always and uh, yeah it's a great Saturnus uh, album if you like the old stuff you I'm sure you will enjoy this as well you know um, it's just a, a very solid album by them so over to something totally different uh, this is um, the split between um, sepulchral, sepulchral uh, voice and uh, Undergang, you got you get three tracks from uh, Undergang and one long track from um, Sepulchral, uh, no, Sepulchral, no, Spectral Voice, damn, Spectral Voice, you can see it there, black on uh, white on black, so uh, sorry about that, really cool cover, also love this uh, fold out stuff, and, you know, uh, Extremely rotten production, do a lot of those, so uh, it's very cool. And you have kind of labels one skull for side A and two skulls for side B. Yeah, great, um, great compilation. And these two uh, bands fit very well together. Cool artwork, and um, I mean, I'm sure most of you have heard of both these bands previously, at least on Undergang is pretty well known. It out of the way then we are going to talk a little bit about the new um, horrendous 
called uh, ontology ontological mysterium uh, out on seasonal mists uh, pretty cool uh, inner it's on black vinyl yeah um, yeah I dreaded this to be too progressive and uh, like too technical in a way and I was right uh, for the for the most part it's uh, great but it's kind of a little bit over the top uh, Matt over at um, the dark path did a, a review of this for um, Heavy Metallurgy, and um, he did say it pretty well, I think, you know, um, it's a great album, but it's kind of just, some of the songs are a little bit over the top when it comes to the progressive and technical stuff. Uh, we'll also say that, um, I think it's song number three, Neon Leviathan, that song does not work at all for me, I think that's a, actually a very bad song. Um, I don't know if they try to be a little bit more brutal on it, but it, that's kind of just a total no style for me. I would say the last track on side A and yeah, B, side B is pretty good. I mean, that's the best uh, here, you know. Uh, I do get, you know, a lot of kind of uh, later death and also uh, athletes, especially on the, I don't know if it's the title track or the last song, that has a lot of, uh, you know, elements of athletes in it. Uh, but yeah, so uh, here's some killer stuff here uh, some great songs here but there's also some parts that are just too much and uh, as I said song number three does not work for me at all but overall a great album and if song number three wasn't present uh, I think I would enjoy the whole album more than I I do uh, side B is great that's a great side but um, yeah I'm sure a lot of you uh, a lot of fans of this band as me would expect them to go a little bit too far but um yeah step a little bit back to the previous album and uh, it would have been better in my opinion but uh, it's still a, a great release and uh, go and check it out you know don't don't give up, up on it you need to listen to it quite a few bits before kind of get it all because it's a little bit too much at the beginning and we are going to portugal blasphemous fire Beneath the Darkness. Uh, this is um, kind of a evil uh, death metal album. Uh, straightforward in a way. It does have a little bit of that Mortiferum when you play it slow, a little bit slow and then faster uh, or blasting. Uh, but Mortiferum is kind of total doom and then total blast. These guys are a little bit more um, building up to the faster parts and, and they are not so doomy. But it is in the same vein, so if you like Motiferum, you could check these guys out. Uh, great album. A lot of, you know, uh, orange grip and uh, headbanging stuff on this album. I really enjoyed it. So, um, out on um, Gods of War. And of course, uh, you had to have a new incantation with uh, Unholy Defecation. Yeah, another great uh, Incantation album, a uh, slight step up from the previous one. I thought that was a great album as well, but this is even better. You know, we have the lyric sheet with this cool um, uh, drawing and also have some cool artwork on the back side. I went with the... I don't like Relapse because I don't do black vinyl, so um, but this is kind of a um, purple. It looks more red here, but it is more purple and it goes okay with the cover it could have been a little bit darker but uh yeah what to do nobody's listening to me give me black vinyl please uh but yeah there's nothing much to say about incantation they do their stuff and they do it well and i want incantation to sound like incantation so therefore this is a great great album don't know if it will get in my top 10 but uh, it sure is a top 20 album as far I've shown this album before but it's so uh, fucking great I had it on CD but this is a dead chasm from Italy with uh, sublimis ignotum omni which is Latin for something this is just straightforward uh, you know riffy death metal a bit evil but a uh, just quality quality album 
Um, this is a top 10 album for me this year. Uh, Lorenz on vocals or, or on guitar is fantastic. She has a killer vo vocal and um, it's just like headbanging stuff and fucking killer. It's a fucking killer album. It's no nonsense death metal and uh, absolutely one of my favorites and my most played album this fall this year by a mile, I would say. Fucking love this album. Also picked up the new uh, Eternal Rot uh, Moribound. It's the title this time. Great artwork and once again by Mr. Riddick. Well, I presume it's Mr. Riddick. I haven't double checked, but it looks like him. So a lot of cool artwork. This is, uh, well, I will call it Doom Death because there's a lot of kind of classic Doom riffs in this uh, on this album. Uh, and uh, some absolute killer songs here as well. My problem with this album is that the vocals are a little bit over the top. Uh, with you know um, effects and, and kind of boosted up he sounds like a fucking beast and it's very cool for a couple of songs but in like the total of the album it gets a little bit too much uh, for me but uh, listen to just the one side at a time it's very very good stuff and uh, yeah I don't think Eternal Rot um, fans will be dis disappointed by this uh, I just wish they toned down the vocal a little bit and then it would be uh, yeah a fucking great album but um, yeah for people that like death doom or doom death I call this doom death because of the the riff type that is here but uh, you can argue with me I'm right uh, last vinyl here today I do have some t-shirts and uh, magazines and stuff comics as well uh, that's Moriem, Moriemur, Moriemur, uh, Tamashi no Yama, probably some um, Japanese uh, stuff there. Uh, this band I think is from Czechia. Um, prefer their previous album actually over this. Um, they kind of got a little bit too progressive in a way, uh, not by much but uh, and also I would call this black and death doom not death doom because the vocals is for the most part black vocals there are some very deep growls as well but also a lot of the riffs here uh, are black metal riffs and one of the songs I don't remember which track it was really but uh, has kind of that uh, sounds a little bit like do um, if you know that band uh, very progressive um, extreme metal uh, but yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff here. I need to spend more time with it, but uh, it, it is a great album, but uh, I do prefer the previous one. It also came in this kind of a plastic, um, but uh, if you uh, have uh, received this album in this plastic, change it because it's kind of sticking to the cover if it's too hot. So um, it didn't uh, destroy my cover, but um, be aware of it. Uh, yeah, I can show you this uh, fucking uh, horrendous, uh, once again, horrendous, uh, yeah, man, this is so damn ugly. So why did I buy it? Well, I stopped, as I said, buying vinyl from Transcending Obscurity because I, I can't stand their colors anymore. And this is a, I think I ordered this last year. So it's been very delayed so um that's why i got it a while i think i have all my pre-orders in now so um but yeah go and check it out if you want something different because this is different it's a different type of death doom uh, black and death doom and um have some cool stuff but it's uh, it takes a little bit to get into that album i feel yeah t-shirts picked up two Fargo with Inri. Really cool t shirt, in my opinion, and also bought the uh, new Celestial Season. Nice uh, Celestial Sanctuary. Yeah, really cool. 
t-shirt also has some awesome backside on it as well. So over to the magazines. I should have a tape as well, but this is the new Noxious uh, Ruin um, Volume 7. A lot of cool stuff in this magazine. I, I really like this. It's kind of uh, a little bit messy, but uh, a lot of cool pictures and uh, you know interviews and stuff like that. So uh, you get a lot for this. Pretty thick. I don't remember the price of it, but um, you can get it. There was a compilation tape tape with it as well, but uh, I seem to have misplaced that one. No, oh, there it was. So a lot of uh, unknown stuff on this uh, compilation this time. There is the bands that are on there. Very cool uh, to get these uh, mixtapes. I think so. Uh, yeah, Noxious Ru Ruin. I'm pretty pretty sure a lot of you know about this as well. And you you can always get a a cool print as well with this magazine. Picked up uh, and. Emancipation Volume 5. Um, according to the author, he had used 30 years to get this going uh, or out. The first four came out in the early 90s. So, very like old school magazine with interviews and uh, some lengthy stuff. Uh, there's a long one with uh, Don Swan Swanne as well. So, pretty cool. Then we have Zero Tolerance. Uh, one of my favorite uh, metal signs uh, going uh, pretty thick uh, and uh, yeah various forms of uh, interviews and uh, some short short and sweet ones as well and and uh, you know the normal reviews of albums my favorites metal legion from Portugal, this is a killer uh, magazine. Uh, do also have a poster. The back side of this poster is the uh, vomitory cover. So, uh, but I'm very glad I put this awesome picture of Tudor in there. Um, very cool. Uh, it's also kind of when you when they uh, have an uh, on some bands when they have a. Um, you know, an interview with the band. I also do a review of their latest album, and a lot of lot of reviews here as well. But uh, yeah, thick uh, ninety page uh, magazine for seven point five euros. Really awesome magazine. So go and check it out. Then I picked up two comics that are from, um, you know, this band, Damim, from uh, UK. A fine game of Nile. They have also a EP out. I don't know if you can scan this sheet or what, but you can try. So they have done some um, comics based on their album. Um, I haven't kind of read the lyrics uh, properly on the album yet. I do have it, but um, I'm not a, a guy that always sit down and and read the lyrics, but uh, very cool, uh, you know, comics. If you're interested in stuff like that, um, you find it on. Um, I think Church Road was where I picked it up, but I will link it up below so you can go and check it out for yourself if you want to have a um, metal comic. Uh, I just have the uh, Canvas Corpse Evisceration Plague um, comic. That's the only metal comic I have, so it, it was cool. Yeah, I forgot to say that I also got a, like a this gaming card stuff. I don't know much about gaming, so but yeah. Forgot to say, uh, Metal Legion is also a kind of a compilation. The same uh, does uh, Zero Tolerance has also a compilation with the uh, stuff, um, but this is a killer, killer compilation as well. I don't know. If I can close it up so you can read them. There are the bands that are on here. Yeah, that was 
it, I think. Um, I do have a black metal um, update coming soon. I will also have a new uh, the sort of the crypt video with um, I will go through all my world Dane stuff just to kind of show him um, pay him some respect um, one of my favorite fans so uh, that will be out next week uh, I guess or maybe this weekend I don't know uh, thanks for subscribing and watching and commenting I do appreciate it all so um, thanks a lot and uh, be short.